Hey guys, Dino here. Um, finally got most of the bits and pieces together to test out my um, electric um, recirculating mash brew in a bag system. So what I thought I'll do is I'll um, just run through um, the setup and if you've got any questions just let me know. So the main part is obviously the boiler. So this is a T500 boiler um, with a 2 kilowatt element. Um, I've swapped out the standard tap that came with it for a um, ball valve and on the back I've fitted a bazooka screen. Um, the T500 boiler is plugged into the STC 1000 temperature controller and I have plugged in a or punched in a temperature of 67 degrees which is sort of typical mash temperature and what will happen is um, once the if the temperature drops down um, to 66.7 uh, the STC 1000 will turn on the the boiler so I tested the um, so this is the pro for the STC 1000 here I tested it in different locations I had it um, attached to the um, the pipe um, coming out of the boiler um, but it just wasn't registering a very accurate temperature so I put the probe in the water and it seems quite happy in there um, I knew it was waterproof because it's used for aquariums ah uh, there we go so the temperature on the STC came down to 66.7 so it's turned the boiler on and you can probably hear that in the background so that'll heat up um, until the temperature reaches 67.3 so the lowest um, margin I could have on the STC was 0.3 so I could pick a temperature like 67 and I could only have a 0.3 buffer each way didn't seem to want to go down any lower than that so so yep so the boilers turned off again um, yeah and the other the other thing is the pump now you probably can't hear it even if I get close to it you can't can't hear it it's super quiet um, so the water's coming taps turned on the water's coming out through the pump and back up into the top just uh, to prove it is working there we go um, the this is food grade um, siphoning hose and it seems to uh, be quite happy with the temperature haven't had any issues with kinking or the um, hose coming off the pump um, fittings. Um, I've got a clamp here which is the one that's coming out of the pump which is the most important one because that's where all the pressure is. Um, but yeah, no, it all looks good. So yeah, this is just a dry run on um, normal, normal water just to see if it all works. Um, I wanted to check the STC could handle the two kilowatt element in the boiler and that was all good um, box is actually there's no heat in there at all can't feel any heat so that hasn't heated up which is good um, pumps been as good as gold nice and quiet um, yeah so sort of happy days so at this stage I will just think about any tweaks I have to make and then hopefully the next time you'll see a brew day so Oh, one, one thing to mention, the, the temperature is fluctuating quite a lot when the um, boil kettle comes on but that's because I've probably only got um, water to about here, I've only got about 6 litres of water as a test so the element's probably heating up the water really quickly um, so there's big fluctuations but once it's a proper mash and there's grains in there I don't expect it to um, fluctuate so much so yeah, uh, if you've got any questions, sing out, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers.